Namaste, Soul Circle. I'm Candace. And I'm Steven. And we're from Arcana Mind, Body, Spirit here in Toronto, Canada. And today we are talking all about Aries, the first astrological sign and my soul sister's sun sign. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to dive in, Candace? Do I even have to ask? <laughs> As Mama Ru would say, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. <laughs> Let's do it. So, um, twinning. <laughs> twinning is winning. <laughs> Aries sun sign begins March 21st and ends April 19th. This cardinal fire sign ruled by the passionate and energetic planet Mars is the first sign of the zodiac and it consequently brings the beginning of spring and the spring equinox. It's no surprise Aries are the perfect people to get things started with enthusiastic energy, passion, raw and real honesty, <laughs> optimism, and confidence. Aries, like all fire signs and air signs, are in polarity with each other, being yang signs, which are masculine, being spontaneous, uh, hard workers, ready to enjoy everything this world has to offer, and often being extroverted. This is why we love each other. <laughs> it really is. For those of you who are new to looking into the stars and planets for introspective self-discoveries, it's helpful to understand the influence of the signs element quality and the ruling planets. Candace and I started our free year-long program called Conscious Co-Creation and the entire month of January discusses the ins and outs of all of the different elements. So like and subscribe in order to catch up on your knowledge and not miss any other of our future videos. Find our week of honoring the fire element, which <laughs> Aries most <laughs> definitely is. <laughs> You're not lying. <laughs> So, a quick overview of fire signs. They're most recognizably known as the element of competitive, bold, sexy, outgoing, and inspiring forces of nature. Mm. Fire signs are drawn to the flame, the heat, the light, the warmth. Fire is considered to be the first element of creation. There are Greek mythological stories of immortals stealing fire from the gods and is our central part of human civilization, warming our homes, cooking our meals, wielding our tools, and lighting the way in darkness. That said, fire has the ability to destroy. Thus, with fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, move through life with duality of both this forward-moving creative energy, but also a destructive power in their approaches to life, likes and dislikes, and of course, their personality. So let's talk about some planets. So named after the Roman god who is said to be fearless, the fiery planet Mars has a masculine action-fueled energy, a hot, quick temper, but also extreme courage, which makes sense as the ruling planet of Aries. Mars also tells us about how we pursue our wants and needs, uh, how you fight your battles, big and small, how you come to a resolution, and how you carry yourself and enforce your stance in life. Mars symbolically holds the characteristics of aggression, ambition, animal instincts, which encourage the passion and feisty Aries, <laughs> fueling endless amounts of energy, um, an argumentative and competitive nature, and the ability and desire to be a leader. This planet fuels the Aries need to go straight to the point. Zero time for beating around the bush. Oh my god, this is just all of you. Like, all of this is you. Um, it brings out the initiator and the feeling of trust in your gut and going forth, with or without much thought. <laughs> so um, if you have not had a chance to actually look at any of the services that we offer, one of the things that we do is natal chart polls. Yeah. And you can find what your, your Mars is and also see if you have any sun, moon, rising signs that are any of the fire signs, including yeah. Aries. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we've already covered many of the traits of an Aries, but let's review. They are cardinal, uh, they're a cardinal sign, yang, fire is their element. They're the first house in the zodiac and ruled by the planet Mars, named after the god of war. Known to be energetic, adventurous, impulsive, and straight shooters, and are represented by the ram. Headstrong, 
Head first, <laughs> head A. <laughs> All <Probably>. those. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Aries people should take care of their mental health. Um, and the head area is a vital part of their energy. All right, so let's, let's move to strengths. So great at fearlessly taking risks and trying new things. Like, that's why I love you so much. Um, <laughs> Aries aren't consumed or held down by past, but rather move forward with hope and optimism. They're very loyal and sexual in love and in all their relationships and make excellent coworkers. Making friends isn't a struggle. There's hardly a dull moment with an Aries in your life. My God, ain't that the <laughs> truth. Because they are enthusiastic, creative, and always putting a smile on people's faces, they tend to bring out the extrovert in even the most shy people. Aries are extremely generous, romantic, active, and caring. You definitely always want to have an Aries in your corner. Yeah. We'll, we'll fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak on weaknesses of an Aries, or rather areas to be aware of when thinking about improving your coping skills and successfully navigating your life. Um, ready for a battle? Yes. <laughs> yes. Aries tend to have quite the temper, but as fast as they fire up, they sizzle out just as quickly. Therefore, they aren't really the kind to hold grudges mm -hmm. and are generally um, moving on pretty quickly. Right. Regardless, during during the come down, steer clear and let the Aries burst of anger or whatever it may be run its course alone. <laughs> uh, being courageous is great, but going about it full steam ahead without much thought or consideration, hell, laughing in the face <laughs> of red flags. <laughs> well, this can cause trouble, needless to say, um, as well as being reckless uh, means learning the hard way. Welcome. This is my home. <laughs> this is where I live. But damn, when it works out, it's just it's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Aries also hate to lose. Uh, Aries, well, we hate being told what to do. We're impatient and we can have unrealistic expectations of our loved ones. What do Aries like? <laughs> they like having and holding attention without having to ask for it. <laughs> they love their independence. They love action. Um, they love empathy and kindness. Uh, they do love a challenge. <laughs> they like to be told what they can't do and then overcoming that. <laughs> um, they love humor and laughter and fun and adventure. They love down-to-earth people who are down for whatever. Um, they love their alone time to recharge. They're very loyal and devoted. Um, they love comfort and honesty. Mm, true. So what don't they like? Uh, well, if an Aries doesn't like you, it'll be damn hard for them to be around you because faking it is not in our nature. Um, other dislikes, waiting, having a boss, failure, beating around the bush, for sure. Slow, slow walking, slow talking, slow thinking, indecision, injustice, losing, criticism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't like things. any of that. <laughs> All right, so the burst dome um, is a diamond. Hmm. And alternative birthstones could also be bloodstone, topaz, sapphire, jasper, and aquamarine. What do you think? Is there a diamond in your future, Candace? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so um, the major arcana represent or representative of Aries is the emperor. The emperor is all about authoritative power and leadership, which makes perfect sense with the ruling planet of Mars and the characteristics of an Aries. The emperor sits on his throne, an ankh in his right hand, which is the Egyptian symbol for life, and an orb in his left hand representing his ruling over the people or his world. Um, channel this energy by appreciating your strength, energy, power, and ability to look ahead to what lays before you. Let's talk compatibility. An Aries needs someone who can cool them down when their fires are becoming destructive, but they can't be held down or held back. They need someone with balance independence, um, but also loving, compassion, and intelligence. I think you know someone like that. <laughs> Aries are extremely loving and outspoken. They need someone who can keep up with them, give them space, spark, and keep their interest. Um, enjoy adventure seeking and be able to spar it out with them. Um, it's been said that a Gemini would be a really good partner for an Aries. It's so true. It 
Okay, so I have a few questions for you, Madam Ooh. Aries. All right. Okay, so what qualities of an Aries do you most identify with? Um, <clears throat> the first things that come to mind, uh, for sure, um, indecision. Even though the water signs in me can make me indecisive, I definitely really appreciate being around people who can make decisions. Because mm -hmm. um, generally I've seen speaking, you with people who, who can't. can't make decisions, and I've literally seen you combust. Yeah, like, it drives me <laughs> yeah. insane. Like, tell me what you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, that, uh, I definitely hate beating around the bush. I cannot beat around the bush at all. I have to say what it is. I have to choose my choice, and I have to say it, and I have to be upfront. I would rather someone say exactly what's going on, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're going to do, what they have done straight to me. Even if it hurts me, I would rather that than mm -hmm. not know, than be wondering and left to my own thoughts or be lied to and then find out truth. Like, I have no time for that dance. Yeah. And faking it. Tell like, me I know that like, for you oh. being in those conversations with people, like, I've seen you in I those can't. too. Yeah, I can't happen. do it. I do, literally, you just I can't. Leave. Yeah. I can't, yeah. <laughs> you shut I, off. I, sh I, shut, yeah. I shut off. And that's the other thing. I can't pretend to, to like someone. Yeah. If we're not, if we're not jiving, we're not jiving. And you should go hang out with someone who likes you. <laughs> You should. You should. If it's not if it's not me, find someone who does because we're wasting each other's time. I don't yeah. have I don't have time. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to pretend. I don't want to hear your you talk. So I, <laughs> I gotta go. You know what I mean? This I, is my just, compassionate healer. <laughs> I, I, I am. But it, it, hey, listen. That is that is the compassionate. You need to be around people who it's who true. love you, not someone who can't stand you. Yeah. And there's not a lot of people I can't stand. So when I do meet someone that I can't stand, I just gotta get out of there. Like yeah. I just, I just leave. I remove myself. I'm not gonna yeah. be mean or be cruel or anything like that. I just, have, I just don't wanna waste my time mm -hmm. or anyone else's. Um, I think like the uh, definitely meeting someone that can um, cool me down but also spar with me is really important. Um, someone that knows how to relax and give me space but also give me lots of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Pet me. I, yeah, I like the cat. I like that. I like that cat. Like, I want all the attention. And I want the snacks, and I want you to pet me, and I want you to love me, and then I'm gonna bite you yeah, and run over there until I'm done. I'm coming back <laughs> for more. Okay, and I, <laughs> that's what I want, and I want someone to enjoy that. <laughs> that seems like a weird description, but um, yeah, I think uh, just I can get bored really easily, so I think I need that balance of like alone time to recharge but like just like knowing that they're there and like having that security and that like attention and that love i know that's there really like a quality time thing is super important um yeah i'm just fast a fast walker <laughs> fast. everything a little faster yeah a little bit faster i don't like to wait for stuff <laughs> Okay, so we, we did discuss a lot of the weaknesses of an Aries. Um, have you found that there are any things or practices or things that you can do on a daily basis to help overcome some of those weaknesses? Yeah. Um, I think definitely checking in on my mental health, um, doing mindfulness practices, a lot of breath work, a lot of grounding work, um, so that I am taking moments to actually see the signs, read the signs before I jump into things like just full speed ahead and just like make sometimes it's so much of just just going and doing it and getting it done that I miss a lot of things mm -hmm. and once it's done I'm like oh that was great but it's like over too fast and I've missed some of the lessons or I've missed you know red flags or whatever it may be so I think um I know that in the last last year I've been working a lot on um just slowing down mm -hmm. and staying grounded and taking a moment to like look around and actually contemplate some of the choices that I'm making or sit with some of the choices that I might make instead of just doing it. Mm. Yeah. So okay. Steven, what about you? How many Aries people are in your life? Aries people in my life. Oh my God. My whole life. I've always had at least one close friend. Like I mean, super, super close friend being Aries. Always. Oh, really? Always. I have a tattoo on my back. And that best friend has the same tattoo and she was an Aries. My yeah. whole life, I have been drawn to Aries people. Yeah. I just love them. No one's as good as you because you always have to come first. Um, you come correct. <laughs> you speak truth. 
<laughs> That's why you're allowed to stay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've always, like, as an air sign, uh, like, Aries and Leo, like, all the fire signs are just, like, the most intriguing animals to me. I'm like, <laughs> I love you people. Like air and fire. Yeah, <laughs> right? We combust. Yeah. <laughs> it's what we do. Things burn down. Yeah. Fast. <laughs> Fast. Yeah, but what's really great about um, our friendship, if I can speak about our circle, is we have so many balancing elements around mm-hmm. us, mm-hmm. and um, we've also done a lot of work on on earthing and grounding and stuff. And I find that we're actually in a very healthy state of being like our our archetypal selves, yeah. you know. But yeah. there are still parts of me that <laughs> want to do all that stuff yeah. that in Aries totally blows up in me. I'm like, yeah. let's. Yeah. And you know the yeah. Aries is always down because we're yeah. like the most loyal friend ever. Yeah. All, you don't say no. You're just like, no. how do we make that happen? When and where? Yeah. <laughs> do I need to bring my balaclava? Now? Now? <laughs> balaclava. <laughs> 11 p.m. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Park bench. <laughs> all in black. <laughs> um, and what about you? What's your relationship like with other Aries? So, um, I... I must know more Aries, but it's really funny because the two that come to mind immediately are two people that actually have the exact same birthday as me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So I have one friend who I've known for a really long time, many, many, many years, and uh, they have the exact same birthday as me. <laughs> so um, we've had to share birthdays. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Love you. We've had to share birthdays, but they are really kind and let let it kind of be about me and most of those birthdays. <laughs> uh, they definitely do have other things in their chart, I'm sure, but um, I love them very much. And then I have another friend um, who actually did um, a full moon with us, mm-hmm. Kaylin from Elegant Path, and her daughter is born on the same day as me. Which is really beautiful because you guys went through such a transformative time of your life together and the fact yeah. your daughter was born then. Yeah. We'll leave a link below right now for our Elegant Path as well. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Awesome. She was there for the birth of my daughter and helped me through a lot of my contractions and setting up the birthing pool. And um, I wasn't there for her daughter's birth, but we share a birthday. It was on your birthday. <laughs> so we're connected forever. <laughs> All right, so how about you guys? Do you get along with Aries people? Are you an Aries? Do you identify with the qualities of an Aries? Yeah. Um, please leave some comments below. We'd love to hear how you are and feel about that. Yeah, How? where, where is Aries in your chart? Mm-hmm. And how does it impact you? Now that you kind of know what an Aries is about, is it in your, you know, Mercury and how you mm-hmm. communicate? Like, is how does Aries impact that in your life? So if you know anything about your chart and you want to comment on that, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, and if you don't know anything about your chart, please feel free to take on our natal chart service because we love pulling people's charts and sort of mm-hmm. pulling apart the makeup of who they are and why they have certain patterns that maybe need attention or healing. So thanks for being here. Next month we have the amazing sign Taurus. Yeah. Can't wait for that. I love some Taurus people. I, I do love some Taurus people. Yeah. All right. Mm. Much love. Much love. Namaste.